when I started writing songs and when I first started Vespertine, it was it was out of uh, a compulsion or a, an inability to not express. Like, the songs that I wrote kind of came out of nowhere for me, just in my brain and out of my spirit or whatever you want to call it. And um, they were definitely in there and like needed to get out in a way. And so, um, and where did the vocals start? Uh, and the pad or like they could be just fucking cranked. They're kind of the main driving forces of those. Cool. Um, and they they stay pretty even throughout some of the no surprises for you. Just good. And you might. We don't have any like uh, pre-show rituals other than getting all of our filth out. Jared's <laughs> <laughs> fogging it up. Yeah, fog, fog yeah, fog. man. Fog yeah. Fog yeah, man. Metallica played here. <laughs> yeah, and they all signed that. Every single one of them. So, I've been playing shows in these pants for a few months now, and they've they've been getting uh, pretty dirty. But last night, I ate pizza in the dark, and I got a lot of grease stains on them. So they're no good. So I gotta throw them away. They will now live forever in this Starbucks dumpster. Goodbye, sweet pants. You served me well. Beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah, the land of salty lakes. It's beautiful. It's a nice city surrounded by amazing nature, and I love amazing nature. On this side is a old tunnel. Who knows what it was for? Uh, but it's beautifully decorated by the local youth. And then on this side is amazing sprawling landscape of, of uh, just nature. It's gorgeous. Going to a lot of different places, like getting out of your house and your home and your neighborhood and your city and your bubble, your social world. Uh, just going and experiencing other places and seeing other people and meeting other people and seeing how other things are done is uh, just the best way to get perspective. So even for me, I've traveled a ton, 
but I still constantly need to like brush up on my perspective for sure. It's, it makes me very reflective, like just driving on the open road and seeing the whole world. Like, you know, I mean, right now I'm just seeing this country, but it's, uh, it's different. It's not what I'm used to. It's unexpected. It's kind of dangerous and it's uh, beautiful. So it's all inspiring. Um, and then being on the road playing shows is inspiring because I get to meet all kinds of people that have already resonated with uh, the music that I've written. And I get to talk to them about it and see just like this response in real time uh, when we're playing and um, just get to kind of feel that energy returned and uh, just it'll just kind of keep recycling. It's like a, a feedback loop, I guess, of, of you know, creating these songs and stories and art and it's absorbed by uh, the people and then they kind of express it back and then that inspires me in return. So. Always at least one, uh, usually two in the morning, and then usually another one later in the day, if not two more later in the day. If I'm at home and working at home, I'll make like a full French press and just work on that for like an hour or so. Silence, the rage of all my shattered you. The swell into a flood, and I hold it in my blood. And escape is all that I can do. Ooh, when I finally figured out what I want, it seems to get away from me.